I'm Little Ray, and I'm here with Wild Ontario at the Niagara Parks Butterfly Conservatory. And here's three things that you might not know about the gray tree frog. Hey, did you know that gray tree frogs can actually change their color? Look at him, he's not gray at all. Gray tree frogs have the ability to change their shade from a mottled green color like you see right now to a gray color to match the bark of trees and other things like rocks that they might be sitting on. Pretty amazing to have a frog in Ontario that can change color. Did you know that the easiest way to find frogs, or at least know what type of frogs are living around you, is to listen? Great tree frogs can be really hard to find because they're often up in the canopy of the trees. But if you listen when the sun goes down, you can recognize any species of frog living in Ontario by their call. If you ever hear a that is a great tree frog. Now, if that sound goes on for 10 seconds, that is a common toad. And I heard one of them last night, just outside the front door of your Niagara Parks Butterfly Conservatory. Hey, have you ever seen a frog eat? Now, I'm sure most of us know that frogs will shoot their tongues out to catch small insects, like crickets and stuff. What a lot of people don't realize is they're not pushing their tongue out with a muscle the way we do. A frog's tongue is actually attached at the front of his mouth and flops back into his mouth. When he wants to eat something, he'll just throw his head down, open his mouth, and his tongue flops out with that long, sticky saliva on it to grab insects and flips it back into their mouth. Pretty incredible adaptation for eating, everybody. The amazing great tree frog.